morning, kind of nutraceutical update. Uh, Dr. Noah here, YouTube. So here's one, Ch chocolate uh, consumption is linked to re reduced to, to heart disease by 37% and uh, strokes by 29%. This was published in the University of Cambridge. Uh, that's over in England, pretty prestigious place. And that was published in British School Medical Jun Journal, uh, July 2011, that eating chocolate is really, really important in terms of helping reduce different types of problems. So you can take drugs that are once again have uh, lots of side effects or uh, caught very costly or you can take simple things. Now I recommend a particular type of uh, chocolate that's from Raw from Belgium. That's great. has the auric value of uh, three pieces of five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables. So you, you can take drugs that have barely work or you can take some good chocolate that actually have been shown now. Now this study here showed that you know they looked at a, 114,009 people. So once again a big study, very very powerful. Next study, that vitamin D and depression. We've talked about how SSRIs, there have been now three scientific studies, meta-analysis show that their effectiveness is no better than placebo, which is pretty much voodoo. Uh, here's a study showing um, from the University of Massachusetts uh, and, and published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that vitamin D uh, is a very, very effective way in terms of having, and they actually said that vitamin D holds a promise for prevention of of, diet, of depression. Another study that was published uh, from uh, Texas Women's University uh, on current uh, drug delivery 2011, June, uh, dark chocolate and blood pressure. So taking uh, calcium channel blockers, ACE inhibitors, all those kind of crappy drugs, why don't you actually try to exercise health and eat some, something good for you. And so that's what they showed here is that dark chocolate is associated with lower blood pressure. So another type of way of looking for other ways of not taking your drugs. Omega-3 fatty acids compared to different types of drugs for different high triglycerides. Uh, this was uh, published uh, in, um, uh, over in, in uh, Europe, uh, published in pharmacology uh, uh, research made in June 2011, showing that taking omega-3 fatty acids was able to reduce your triglycerides substantially uh, versus taking drugs which once again cause liver and kidney damage. Red clover isoflavone supplement for men menopause, another big problem I see a lot of, you know, hot flashes. We talked about the classic study in 2002, largest study it was ever done. It took 50 years to do the study. They estimated it killed 6 million women for breast cancer heart disease because of taking premarin, you know, taking uh, urine from a, a female horse and giving it to women because the hot flashes got better, but uh, caused cancer and other types of problems like that. So minor little kind of problems, but, you know, who cares? The cancer specialists were able to make money off that. Uh, so here's a randomized controlled study uh, showing that within 90 days, 93.5% uh, of the hot flashes reduced, sweat, night sweats were reduced to 72%, and, and overall menopausal symptoms by 75% by using a red clover, it's an extract, great results. So there are answers out there. You don't have to suffer as a woman going through this change like that and taking carcinogenic uh, type of compounds to help your hot flashes but causes cancer and other types of problems. So vitamin A is linked to reduction in death and morbidity and vision problems in children. There was a study that showed, uh, I was just reading another article, that, that one million children could basically not go blind if they just really had one penny a day of vitamin A. Now we can pay a lot of crap like, you know, SSRIs that don't work or statin drugs that cost billions of dollars, but one penny a day would save one million visions of, of, of children around the world like that. So in this study here published in the British Medical Journal, August 2000, that's right, I'm studying, studying science again. This is all science, not opinions. I, I just heard from another patient as well, you know, my drug doctor, you know, doesn't have anything really against nutrition, but there's just no science. Well, have him or her get his, his or her butt out of their butt and they start reading the literature like mine and find out, yeah, that this actually has more science than the crap that they give. So in this systematic review of meta-analysis of 43 studies showing is that, that they're able to reduce overall death rate by 24%. These are big numbers. This is around the world. By just using a simple thing, a penny a day, vitamin A. Uh, they, they showed that vitamin A should be given to all children uh, and, and in particular low and middle income countries. Yeah. So once again, if we really want to save lives, that's what we want to do. Not pretend that there's some boogeyman out there like, you know, terrorist and spending, oh, this, oh, I was, we were talking with, uh, with Cindy about this Ohio professor is coming out with a new book about, you know, we're spending a trillion dollars on, you know, so-called terrorism, taking away our civil rights because of the chance of one point, one in 
3.2 million chance of dying of a terrorist. Like Cindy said, you're more likely to die of a sting bite, eating peanuts, you know, being struck by lightning by five times in one day. You know, come on, let's get real here. Put our money into really good things. Once again, instead of pretending. Now, of course, that one trillion dollars is spent, and we can talk about you know the government officials that that own the the, the X-ray uh, scanning uh, body scanner that's out there. So they're making billions of dollars. So they're ripping people off. They're they're laughing all the way to the bank. They're going back to their you know uh, gated communities, uh, ripping off people, but with no real value here. So we only have so much money. Let's use it properly. And let's see, salmon consumption and pregnancy. So when you're pregnant, you need to take good essential fatty acids. And this uh, article here from the United Kingdom, uh, published in American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, is that women who eat salmon, you know, simple good food like that, uh, are, are basically able to reduce their chances of complications and harm to their child. Simple little things here, not taking the crappy drugs that they give that should, shouldn't even give to women like that. So little update, keep healthy, happy. Talk to you soon.